All right, welcome all you scarecrow mask makers. Uh, the next step is to put a lining inside of your mask, which is really, it adds comfort. Just the level of professionalism that I like. I had to do it for a kid's mask and I decided to adopt it into all my masks. It provides a nice soft feel when you put it on. So I'm gonna keep doing that and that's why I wanna show you how to do it. Just for a comfort level, it's great. A lot of masks you put on, they're very uncomfortable. Let's make it comfortable for ourselves. Okay, so what you're gonna need to build the lining of your mask supplies. You're going to need some masking tape, pretty simple. You're going to need some fabric. And this fabric, you want to pick something that you want the inside of your mask to look like. So it should be soft to the touch, and then it should have just a little bit of pull in both directions, or just one direction is fine too. Just a little bit of pull. You don't want anything like spandex because that's too much. You can over tighten, and then when you take it off, it'll squeeze. We want something with just a little bit of pull, not a lot. You're gonna need some scissors, okay? And that's really about it for this one. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my bulked out armature, right? That we started, that we finished on the other video. I'm gonna take that masking tape and I'm gonna backwards wrap this, which means I'm gonna take the tape, I'm gonna wrap it around, and I'm gonna have the sticky side out. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna do that for the whole mask to create a sticky surface over the whole armature. Here we go. Okay, so getting started is difficult. You gotta wrap it around a couple times and then you'll start to get the tape just sticks to itself and it'll stop sliding around and moving. And then you can keep going from there and then after a while you'll just be able to tear pieces off and add it. So I'm gonna speed it up, finish this up, and then we'll go to the next step. Did you see what I just did there? Basically what I did is there's little edges sticking up everywhere. So if you just pat them down, that'll create a nice smooth surface. And everything sticks to itself and you're good to go. All right, I'm gonna speed it up, finish up the rest of the head. Here we go. mummy a tape wrapped mummy head and now you're saying why did we do that we did that so that way we have a sticky surface to stick fabric to we're gonna take fabric and now we're gonna wrap that onto this whatever side of the fabric that you want to be seen on the inside of the mask you stick that to the tape and the other side will not be seen so in my case I don't want the white to show I want this awesome pattern to show. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the pattern to the mummy. What I try to do is cover this in as big pieces as possible, but you don't want giant wrinkles and things like that. I'm gonna take it kind of a piece at a time and I'll just kind of walk you through it. It's not too bad. Here we go. You wanna gently tug and kind of apply it at the same time. What you're trying to do is keep that surface as flat as possible without causing too much tension on your fabric. If it starts to wrinkle, you can pull it up and put it back down. Now I'm just gonna kind of take this all the way down to the bottom here. Just gently getting one area like that from the bottom to the top rubbed out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go as far as I can without wrinkling, but once I start to wrinkle, then I'm going to either make a wrinkle on purpose, so like this, and I'm gonna get all the fabric to stick down, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that wrinkle off later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the whole thing, fast forward again, so here we go. Now 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down some of this because I'm having problems working the fabric around because it's attached to one another and it needs to spread out and open. So I'm going to go down here below the neck and I'm just going to cut a straight line out so it's easier to wrap. Okay, let's continue. See, I've got pretty smooth all the way around. I just trimmed it up as I went. Nice straight line. Well, straight-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can trim it up a little nicer later. So now I'm just gonna finish wrapping the head and then we'll trim down the wrinkles and here we go. Okay, so you probably noticed that what I'm doing as I go, as I lay down a little bit, cut a little bit more, trim a little bit more, cut a little bit more, I keep going back and forth and laying it down carefully to ensure that when it's down, it's pretty flat and smooth and there's not big wrinkles like this. If there are big wrinkles like that, you make them intentionally. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim those wrinkles with scissors. I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna trim that right off. And then also where it seams up here, where the two sides come together. I'm gonna to go ahead and trim that back so you can see just a tiny bit of masking tape between the seams. That'll kind of keep the seams from lifting when you do the next step and you don't want them to lift up and then start unraveling while you're working on putting on the burlap. I'm just gonna continue going for a little bit and uh, just, here we go. Look at that, can't even see it. All right, and there it is. Now, see all the way around. Look at that, perfect. That's it for that step. Once you've got it nice and smooth, trimmed all the edges down so it doesn't catch, you're ready to go for the next part. So, and uh, have fun building this. Take your time on this. This is gonna be against your skin inside. It's good to have a nice, clean, soft fabric lining. That's how you put the fabric lining in. We kind of build everything up backwards. You'll see in the end how it makes sense. But once you've done that, move on to the next video. So I'll see you guys soon.